Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History, uh, where today we are going to talk about informing the president about San Jacinto. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, with history, we get caught up with uh, the traditions and the myths uh, rather than taking a hard look at the facts. Uh, you know, because uh, many times, you know, you see uh, the artwork and stuff and uh, you hear the stories of Sam Houston and the victory and everything's over. and uh, So you assume. Now, when you get down to the reality of things, uh, you learn a little more. Uh, now, I'll explain that here. Uh, on this day, you know, the 27th of April in 1836, uh, there were a couple of Republic of Navy ships uh, out there in Galveston Bay, uh, the Invincible and the Independence, and a small uh, boat, you know, like a skiff, uh, was seen by the lookouts coming toward them. Uh, they took the people on board. Uh, they informed the news about uh, San Jacinto. They were all excited. <clears throat> One boat told the next boat. Uh, you know, they shot off a cannon. They were making a lot of noise. And then they wondered, gee. Uh, so, sorry about that. Dogs are going nuts. Um, and uh, with the news, they wondered if anybody had told President Burnett. And so they made sure that President Burnett was informed about this. Stop it. Uh, President Burnett was informed about the situation, uh, and he was overjoyed, uh, thrilled. And uh, he went ahead and uh, joined the festivities and took one of the vessels uh, and they took it to San Just, you know, to the battlefield. And later on in the next couple of days, Sam Houston's going to be loaded on it and taken to New Orleans uh, to receive medical help. Now, without the Texas Navy, what would have happened, there were uh, like five Mexican vessels that were bringing reinforcements as well as supplies, and had they landed near Filisola and uh, his army, uh, it would have been devastating uh, for the Texans. Uh, but the Navy kept those supplies at bay, oftentimes captured those ships, diverted them, uh, kept them from uh, coming in. I mean, much like the French Navy made all the difference uh, with the American forces triumphing over the British, uh, the Texas Navy made all the difference with the Texans uh, winning over the Mexican forces. Uh, but that gets lost in history somewhere. Uh, that's why I'm bringing it out. So that you're aware of it uh, and the role that they played. Um, and uh, having secured the Texas coast, uh, they realized that they're, that this represented a change. Now they had to keep the peace rather than hunting down uh, the Mexican forces. And uh, this was a big change for them. Uh, so uh, with uh, the events of uh, today, it, it did make a difference. Now, of course, uh, some of the soldiers wanted to go ahead and kill Santa Ana, uh, for what he did. Um, Houston was against it. President Burnett was against it uh, because they knew it would set a dangerous precedent. They uh, were trying to pressure Santa Ana into signing uh, a treaty. And, uh, you know, if you turn around and kill the guy that signed the treaty, <laughs> that doesn't bode very well. So, um, and we'll talk more about that with uh, the incident where Tom Green uh, captures Santa Ana and uh, they attempt hanging him. But uh, it was uh, a good day uh, for Texas uh, and a day of rejoicing when uh, news spread because there was no internet in those days that automatically, uh, you know, within minutes that the information is out. It often took days before uh, everyone knew uh, 
the information that they needed to know. And uh, President Burnett uh, had been over there in Galveston uh, with the government of Texas. Literally, uh, that was our uh, national seat uh, there in our national capital there in Galveston at that point. Because wherever the president was, that's the capital. So, anyways, that'll bring you up to snuff. Uh, I do plan on doing another follow-up on the importance of uh, Texas independence. Uh, I think you're going to find that uh, informative uh, along the lines of s stuff I talked about yesterday. I did some more uh, work, and there's some fascinating things I need to bring to your attention. So until later, this is Jeff Murrah wishing you via con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.